My name's Jordy Johnson. My name's Grumpy Jesse, and this is Carving Fusion by Jordy Johnson. See ya. Peekaboo. Hey guys, so here I am down at the stoop. My this is my little uh, room studio for my second channel, Let Art Find You. But I thought it was going to be best to uh, do the epoxy sculpt down here because it's dust free, and you want to keep everything pretty clean when you're doing this epoxy sculpt stuff. So if you look at this pumpkin here, this uh, his legs are done with the epoxy sculpt, his arms and this little stock thing are done. So we got three pumpkins today to do this. We're just gonna do the stalks for it, right? I got extra legs and stuff here, so I made before, so I might give this little guy some legs and arms. I think it really increases the value if you're, if you're planning on selling your pumpkins, little guys like this. I think it will increase the value and you'll be able to get more money. And this stuff's fun to work with too, right? So, okay, so um, I'm going to get the, I got an overhead camera mount set up here. Got to swing it around and we'll start uh, talking about what's going on. And um, before I get into anything, um, a fellow YouTuber, uh, he just reached a thousand subscribers. His name's uh, Cleve, Backyard Woodworking. He's, uh, well, his real name is Dave, which is my real name actually. But um, his mother just passed away. So I just want to take a second here and say, uh, Cleve, uh, Dave, I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about your mother passing away. Um, it's a terrible thing and uh, you just got to kind of keep your head up and know that she's in a good spot and uh, she's with you for uh, every second of your journey in life, bud. So just keep your head up, keep busy and uh, I'm terribly sorry for the loss. Okay. So let's get the overhead camera mount set up and get to it. Okay guys, so let's get this party started. Um, this epoxy scope stuff here. It's um it's like it turns into plastic. Okay, so um it comes with two parts. This is for people that don't know, okay? This is for the real beginner, and I'm a real beginner with this stuff too. It comes in two parts, all right? So here's part uh, B and part A. You mix these two together, and then it cures within 24 hours, and it's hard as plastic. So here's another leg that I made. Like, it's carvable. Yes, I tried to carve it. It's very soft to carve, actually. It's very strong. And um, yeah, it's fun to work with. Um, these are on sale right now on uh, Amazon. I think I, I, you get this set like this, and it was 70 bucks uh, Canadian. So it's not that cheap, but you can make a lot of things out of this. This is like uh, two pounds and two pounds here. So you get four pounds, okay, for this stuff. This is the gray color. You can also get a col uh, epoxy clay too. Um, I like the sculpt stuff better. Like. A epoxy sculpt then there'll be a epoxy clay they're basically the same stuff but this is a bit different textures um, you, this stuff's the gray color the natural color you can get white you can get black you can get uh, blue red whatever color you want really I think um, so what tools are we gonna use today so we're gonna be making a stock I'm gonna make a stock for all the pumpkins I got right but we're gonna focus on this one this little guy so what tools am I going to use today? Well, I got uh, some wire coat hangers. I got these tin snips. I got some green acrylic paint. Um, I got some uh, yellow paint too. I got these bullshit tools here that I wasted money on. Um, tin foil. Water. And some rubber gloves. Okay. So um, let's get started here and we'll figure this out. Because remember guys, this is a learning process for me too. So we'll just uh, get her going. Yep. Okay. Okay guys, don't pay attention to this red line. This is just to make sure that I'm in frame when I'm doing this crazy stuff. So um, let's get some tin foil here. Dollar store tin foil, guys. I think I want to try and make these stalks like, um, you know, so it kind of comes and hangs over the side, like, like that. So, got our tin foil here. And remember, guys, I'm a rookie too, just like you guys. So, you, you, you're not going to learn if you don't do it, right? So, 
So I should have probably used the coat hanger first and wrapped the tin foil around the coat hanger. So yeah, there's a ways of tin foil. Okay, so here's coat hanger, just some tin snips. Oh, am I getting weak in my old age or what? Let's see uh, here. Jeez, wow. Okay, so we got our tin foil here. So we'll just kind of, uh, I think it's better to have a stable thing because this stuff when you first, the epoxy mold, when you first mold it together, it's really soft and flexible, but it hardens up over about after an hour. So let's see here. Um, okay, so it'll be like that, see? Hang it over. Okay, now we can get some more tin foil and wrap it around this. Um... I guess I should have uh, bent the coat hanger. After I put tin foil around it. Okay. No, I just squeeze it to get it tight. Actually, I'm going to cut this end off here. Don't cut your fingers. And I'm just going to kind of spin it to tighten it up. Okay, that's no good. It come out of the bottom there. Well, here we go. Okay, so right, and then I'm just gonna bend it over now. And that gives you a nice solid base, right? Like it's a lot firmer now than just tin foil, and you can shape it how you want to shape it. I think that's just about, I think that's just about right. Okay, so we got that set up. Now, uh, time to get the epoxy ready. Okay, so, uh, one, two, uh, let's see here. Just hold on a sec. Okay, so I'm just using my hands right now. Don't put the, like, so you see, I, I used my left hand to get it out of this one. Now I'm going to use the right hand to get it out of this one because you don't want to put this hand in here because you'll contaminate it and you'll get hard chunks in the side there, right? So I really don't know exactly how much I'm going to need, but you've got to make both sizes, the, the, like get yourself a little balls and get them the same size so you know that it's a it's a 50, it's a one-to-one -one mix, right? So I think I'm going to get a little bit more. Okay, so here you go. Put those on there, put your lids back on, obviously. Okay, so we got these two, then we're just gonna mix them together. It, it probably good to wear your gloves, but it kind of annoys me a bit to wear the gloves. So I'm gonna mix this together quickly. This is probably the hardest part of the job. It's stuff's pretty soft guys you know like but you just got to mix it together make sure you mix it good because if you don't you might get a soft thing right so then once it's mixed together a bit I'm going to start adding the green paint you can know I seen the craftsman he used the uh, oil based paint too and I put the oil based paint probably go you're going to see see have to see how much paint I use on this so let me mix this up then we'll start adding paint Okay guys, so I mix it up pretty good there for about two minutes. You can see all the colors the same and consistent. Now it's really soft, right? So now this is where the messy part comes. This this is messy. So I suggest this is just like a 
sticker thing I put over top of my uh, pad here. So, well, because I'm heavy hands, but I'm also pig pen too, right? So, uh, this is the messy part. You just pour the paint in there and just get the paint inside the friggin' thing. So, yeah. I'm sure there's easier, better ways I could do it. And this is brighter green paint than I did before. So, that's how you do it. Just get the paint in there. See how soft it's getting? Now watch. See it's still gray color in there, so I gotta put more paint. This, yeah, this green's a lot uh, brighter than the other, but you want it to be bright, right? You don't want stuff to, to be too dark. Yeah, because the first time I mixed the paint into this stuff, I didn't wear gloves and it still stuck all in my fingernails. And See, it's still got that gray color in there. More paint. Some of you might be thinking like, oh, well you're, or some of you sculpt pros or epoxy sculpt pros might be like, well you're, you're putting all that paint in there. You're degrading the epoxy sculpt. Well, listen guys, I'm not building a friggin' ladder to, to, to climb a high rise. Okay. I'm not worried about it breaking. Yeah, I think uh, I think oil based. I think oil paint would probably like blend into the stuff a lot better. See, look more. This gives your fingers a workout. Sure does. Okay, so uh, ah, it's still gray. See, I can feel it heating up too. So let me give me a second. Let me finish this. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I mixed some black paint in there too, just to get a little bit darker. So I believe I mixed up too much, but that's okay because we got other pumpkins here. We want to make the stocks for too. So. You know, we got some water here. You guys can see that. I just dip my fingers in the water. I'm gonna stretch it out. Actually, hold on. And then I'm just gonna got tin foil. I'm just gonna wrap around tin foil. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you make sure it's kind of consistent all the way around because you do got to cut your lines. You don't want to see that tin foil pop out later. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now get your hands wet. There's a there's solution that you could use if anybody knows what it is, like a homemade solution instead of water that works better. I think it's alcohol and something else, but I just haven't had time to research it. So now what I'm doing is just blending all the, see that seam there? I'm blending the seams in. So that, see that seam's gone?
stretching it out. Well, that's a pretty big stock for that pumpkin. Maybe I'll use it on the bigger pumpkin. Yeah, I think I better use it on this bigger pumpkin. Okay, so I'll just keep working on this stuff and I'll be back. Okay, so I got it so it fit inside the pumpkin good. Now I got these, uh, like I said, these tools. These ones are um, for uh, like wax molding, wax shaping. Our painters also use these too. See the rubber thing there, super soft. So now I'm gonna kind of make like spiral lines down it. You guys remember like, <sighs> I'm not a freaking architect, okay? or whatever it's called. I'm not building a freaking spaceship here. It's freaking, it's it's called fun time, guys. <laughs> we're, we're making pumpkin stalks. So, if, you, if you're looking to make, like, for crazy things and stuff like that, this probably isn't, like, a wicked detailed stuff. This probably isn't the proper channel for you because, well, I'm just Jordy having fun. That's all. So you gotta be careful when you kick, put the stuff in your hands, like not to squeeze, because it will, well, you'll lose the marks. If you push it on your hand, you'll lose where the, you put the marks in it. And we could put some more marks on it once it uh, hardens up. I just wanted to make it look like it's kind of twisty. You can make it however you want to make it look. See that part? There's no tin foil there. So it's all soft and it wants to come off of there. So we gotta double it up. And see, I pushed there, I lost those lines that I did, right? You got lots of time when this, you know, I'm doing this actually a little bit too early. You got lots of time to do it. It's not a major, it's not a major rush. See if we can give this one some twists like this. Guys, anybody can do this, right? And uh, in a few secs here, I'll show you other stuff that I've made. Just goofing around, just learning how to use the stuff properly, right? I'm not a sculptor. I don't friggin' know. Okay, so let's get it fit in the pumpkin. Blumpkin the pumpkin. There. We still got to let it dry and add color and textures to it. Okay, so I got to figure out a way to... Uh, is this tin foil I got here kind of mount it up so it doesn't hang too much. So I'm going to let it sit like this for about... Uh, see guys? 
sit like this for about 45 minutes and then I'll start doing more shaping. We got this extra bit, so I might as well make this this for this. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay guys, so you can see that uh, I'm just letting them sit there for about an hour till they get, uh, that's when they get real firmer, right? So then I'll be able to clean them up a bit more and give them some more line, texture lines inside there. So just sit tight, Jordy, let them cure up. And I still gotta make the stock for this one too. So maybe I'll do that right now too. This one's just a clear one. I left the bark on it and I mod podged it, whatever. Cause this guy has, this guy's gonna be sitting on here, right? So it's good, you know, you don't want too much color. So this guy's got color and whatever. Okay, yeah, so. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm just got, I got this in here to hold it for uh, bracing. Still, see it's still soft. Um, got that in there, that tin foil with that uh, wax paper around there. But um, yeah, I kind of just went a little bit crazy. This is like a big stalk coming out of this pumpkin and I didn't want to mix it up with green paint and I'm gonna have to sit here and wait till it dries. Yep, so I'm just sitting here bored out of my mind kind of making videos to share on YouTube and Instagram. I'm just waiting for somebody to say, Jordy, enough with the pumpkins, bud. Enough with the pumpkins. Cause I know some of my subscribers bug me all year long about pumpkins and Christmas trees. We'll just wait till the trees start guys. And we still got a month left, a month and a half to do pumpkins. You're all gonna hate pumpkins by the end of this. It's payback. What it is, it's payback, it's karma. To all the pumpkin maker fun or revers or whatever you're called. Karma. I'm a crybaby. Look at me. I'm a crybaby. <laughs> crybaby. I'm a crybaby. <laughs> what do you do when you're waiting for your epoxy scope to dry? Come and carve a wood spirit in our beautiful wood. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a pumpkin, and I got my mouth tied shut. Okay guys, so this, um, is dried. It's been a full day curing. I decided it's best to let it dry and everything and, uh, properly. So it says it's full, full cure in 24 hours. It's still shapeable, like, a couple hours after but you can't really shape it too much or it will kind of break it's hard to explain but you still got a couple hours to shape it right so i woke up at two o'clock in the morning i couldn't or one o'clock in the morning or midnight or something i couldn't freaking sleep so i did a black wash over this guy again i like it a lot better this is just too bright too shiny it looks too new and it's just not working for me so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh hey, can you see the difference Look, that's all the black wash in there. This is just too bright orange. Also, guys, when I uh, couldn't sleep last night, I kind of uh, shaped out some pumpkin leaves. Okay. So these were done at like 11, I think, at walk last night. They're not that great. Look, guys, come on. Look at that. Look at that. No good. Okay, but anyways, they're shaped out. I got some paper towels stuck in there. So I just shaped them out and uh, yeah, they're pumpkin leaves. So they'll, I got three pumpkins, so I'll put one on each stalk. And I'll paint these ones kind of like yellow or something. Why is it so shadowy? There we go. Okay, look. So here's another one. That I did an extra piece. Let's see if I can break it. It probably will break because it's not fully cured yet. Okay, so I did break that. See? Use the force, Steve. Use the force, bud. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to paint these. And uh, get them mounted on here. 
when we got the other pumpkin over here, ah, let's show you. I'll show you guys this one. I did this pumpkin. I painted it. I was going to keep it natural, but I painted the pumpkin. Shit. So I, was gonna, I did a black wash on the stock. Put some yellow in there. Painted the pumpkin. Did a black wash on it. See, it looks so much cooler and real. Well, not real, but anyways, okay. I'm a pumpkin guy. Okay, so first off, let's give this guy the uh, black wash, all right? Guys, I'm no pro at, at washing things. I hate doing laundry. So here's a, a little plastic cup. Pour a bit of water in there. We're gonna make this just dollar store paint, guys. We're gonna make, give this a, a thicker black wash, okay? So we poured some paint in there. Dilute the paint in the water pretty good. This is pretty thick, actually. I don't know all you black wash experts you can tell me how I'm doing it wrong which I really don't care you know so whatever waste your time not mine okay so it's mixed in there pretty good so what we'll start doing is just going like this screw it let's black wash this stock too Right. You just got to go for it. I think uh, when I'm done these pumpkins here, it's pretty early in the morning here, it's like 9. I'm going to go over and do a, another Shosugi bad pumpkin. I'm going to try to give it a mohawk. Huh? How's a pumpkin with mohawk? I think that's pretty cool. I'm bored, guys. Okay, this is what I do. I, got, I have no life. Once I go back to work, there won't be so many videos, and when I go back, <laughs> when I go back to work. Okay, so I'm going to get this wash, well here, I'll show you. So the wash is on, get it all over your hands, and l lick this stuff, guys, it tastes really good. Okay, so it's on there. So look how much cooler that pumpkin looks now, right? It's not so clean and shiny. Because what pumpkins clean and shiny, they all come out of a field, a dirt, muddy dirt field. It's, it's fall time, right? So let's get this done. And uh, I'll be back and we'll paint this in the paint the leaves. Okay, so it's all done. We'll just wipe it off. See, look how much cooler that stock looks now too, guys. It's, you see all the black wash gets inside those cracks there, right? That's the purpose of it. Okay, so I'll get all this washed up and finish licking my fingers, and I'll be back. Okay guys, so you can see how the black wash really turned out pretty good on that. So these leaves, you know, like, I don't know, whatever. Huh? Put the smaller one here, I guess. So I want these leaves to kind of look yellow like they're going to be dying. I'm not much of a painter, guys, so let's see how this works. So we got a piece of paper here. This is called a Curve Infusion Paint Tray. Okay, so we'll make the, put some friggin' yellow out there. Put some green out here. Put some white. <laughs> put some white out here. And maybe, maybe just a touch of black. Huh? How about that touch of black? Right there, you see it? Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, let's paint some green in here, and you should probably paper towel sticks to this, guys. When I had it, uh, you know, I shaped these flowers, and then I had them a bowl of paper towel, and I had it sitting on the paper towel, but it's stuck inside there. And sorry about those noises that you're going to hear. They're uh, my neighbors are recycling their cans today, and they just happen to. They're gonna sort them at the side of their house. And that's, here, you hear that? I got no peace around here. It's always loud. I need to go live in the forest somewhere. Be that cranky old uh, guy that lives in his cabin. It only comes out of the forest, I don't know, a couple times a year to resupply on cigarettes and 
um, coffee. Okay, so for the first time in a long time, I've under poured the paint. Look, I've already used all the green up. I don't know how these flowers are going to turn out. Okay. Hit them. Hit those pop bottles, guys. Pop cans. Those neighbors are actually pretty, usually pretty quiet, so. Okay, that's done. I don't know, just carve Rob or Ben's studio on the lake would probably pre-paint these things white. But listen, we don't have time for that today at Curve Infusion. I want to get over to my chainsaw shop and start chainsaw, do some chainsaw carvings. And guys, if I sell these pumpkins with this, these leaves and stems on them, the way I did them, I'm not selling them for that cheap, that's for sure. Okay. So how about I finish painting this and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm still waiting for this paint to dry a little bit, right? So I thought um, <clears throat> it's a good time to, sh I don't know if I said in the video already, this is uh, wax paper, you know, you get it in the roll like uh, tin foil or, or that uh, plus cling wrap stuff. But this is good to lay down too. I do have some over here with my other things on there. But it's good to lay down and get it wet because then you could like put these when you're, uh, when your epoxy sculpt's still wet, it won't stick to it like if it has a flat back for like this silly guy for example okay he had a flat back so I just laid him on the wax paper and it doesn't stick I just get some water put some thin coat of water on there let it cure on this wax paper pulls off no problem or this that uh, like uh, parchment paper this is all dollar store stuff guys you know more crap to waste your money on right so um, these are a couple things that I made with the epoxy sculpt. This silly little guy. This silly little guy. This little dragon. Just with extra stuff that I had when I was making other things. You know, these are just little dollar store waste of money plastic gems. Here's a pumpkin gnome. <laughs> See, I got him set up so he can sit on a pumpkin. And have you ever seen a pumpkin gnome? Well, here you go. Here's the pumpkin gnome. <laughs> okay, and uh, we got this guy, kind of like a Jamaican dude. Hey, man, how you doing now, brother? Okay, of course, we got Crybaby. He's from uh, Winnipeg. Yeah, he's a big Crybaby. Uh, we got this guy. I still got to carve it, like scales and stuff like that. It's a uh, Lizard King guy. Got a crown on there. I got to smoke, put uh, eyes in there and just, I got to carve it and paint it and stuff whenever I feel like it, maybe this winter. And, uh, look at me, I'm just a little guy. These are some uh, extra legs that I made in case I want to, you know what, you got to carve out under here and then put the leg in for the pumpkin man. Okay, and an extra, extra little arm I made. So I sculpted these without tin foil. I let them lay on the wax paper. Then once they were dry, I kind of painted yellow. Whatever. Okay, so let's uh, let's give this yellow paint a try now. This stuff's kind of dry, I guess. So let's paint her in yellow in there. That's what we do. Blend her all in. Shut up. Okay. That's good enough for me. See? Now where's that wax? Why did I throw that wax paper away? Get this one painted in here. Could maybe throw some little white highlights on there. Let's throw a little touch. Let's throw a little touch of white in there. 
just around the edges. There you go, just give it some highlight. Let's come back and do this one here too. There you go. It's really, it's really all, it's really all te technique. Let's just blend it in there a little bit better here. And there we go. And look at that. You have a little pumpkin leaf flower thing. Okay, guys, so when I'm waiting for these to dry, I'm going to take these upstairs and uh, drill a little hole in here wherever I want to put the leaf. I don't know. Whatever. Here's this guy, too. I haven't shown him yet. So, um, see his foot's kind of caught on the stalk there. This is why I wanted to make the leaves because I thought the stock was just a little bit too weird. And this one kind of looks weird. So I thought like maybe a flower coming off here, a leaf would look better, eh? So yeah, but they're fun little projects for sure. But I don't know, I'm not selling this one cheap. If anybody wants to buy it cheap, they can take a walk. Okay guys, so here I am in my carving room. Um, so I got a, I marked a spot there where I want to put the... Uh, thing it's got a cut saw extreme flame burr on, on here and let's uh carve these holes there you go see super simple to carve here's a little stock that i just made for a joke the other day so let's watch this let's carve it There you go, Evil Rick. Carves really easy, okay? Damn it. Oh, I think I hit the coat hanger. <laughs> okay, you guys can see here I got the hole drilled. And here's the leaf, dry. So it's gonna put it in a place how I want it. Where's that spot I had? Good enough, right there. Okay. So what I'll do is uh, mix, leave that like that. I got this dollar store epoxy. It's a dollar fifty. Good thing it's they sell it at the dollar store because I use a lot of epoxy, guys. Man, I go through this stuff like crazy. Here's a shout out to Skipper. Hey Skip, Epoxy King. So mix this stuff up really good guys because if you don't mix it up good enough, I know I repeat myself, but if you don't mix it up good enough, it's never going to cure and it's going to be tacky and it's going to make a friggin' nightmare. So put in the extra few seconds and mix her up really good. Get around the edges everywhere, right? Get it all in there. I kind of scraped it. Okay, so, ah boy, here's a pumpkin, I gotta try and do this on camera, so I'll pull it out. I finally bought some little popsicle sticks from the dollar store because I'm tired of snapping my paintbrushes in half and using those. Okay, that's that, and I just put this in there, Get dab a little bit on here. And shove it in the hole. Okay, so this one's kind of a loose fit, so I gotta sit here and hold it in place like this for five minutes. So I don't think you guys are gonna want to see me sit here and hold this for five minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. So all the pumpkins are uh, pretty well done. The leaves are put in place. So this is a real fruity pumpkin. <laughs> Some lady will buy it, or who knows, maybe some man will buy it. Um, this guy's cool. I gave him some arms. I had the arms kicking around, so I put them in, right? I just cut the hole and epoxied them in. And then there's this guy. The, it's got seed leaf there. So what I got to do now, oh man, these things take a lot of work, I'm telling you. What I'm going to do now is I got this um, black paint. I'm just gonna see here. I'm gonna try and just here because sometimes that epoxy is really shiny. I don't know if you can see it. 
but I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of black around there. Just gives it extra texture. You can see there it's, it's shiny in there. A little thing there. See, and then the last one here. Sorry, guys. No more shiny. So I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna friggin' uh, modge podge these things again. Oh man, I'm done with these. I wanna go chainsaw carving today. So you guys saw earlier, I got this spray modge podge, the Ultra. It's like a liquid in there. It's probably just same stuff as this, like Evo Rick said in the comment, but it's probably just watered down. So this is what I'm gonna do now. Look, this thing's getting stuck up here. Give it all a hit with the Mod Podge. Spray, and then color done. So I'll get this done and I'll be back. Okay guys, so here they are done. Man, they took a lot of work with this epoxy skull. Sure did, but it was fun. But not fun when you want to be chainsaw curving, you know what I mean? So this is Fruity Pumpkin. This pumpkin is, whoo, it's been a hard day out in the field today. I hope I don't get uh, taken making pumpkin pie. See? No pumpkin pie out of me. And this guy's just, well, he's just a crazy guy. You know, he likes playing, uh, what's that game, uh, X, X's and O's? <laughs> what's the name of that game? Uh, I can't freaking remember it. Uh, X's and O's. Isn't it X's and O's? You know, you got to get three X's or three O's. I can't even remember it. So, but that's it, guys. Um, I hope this video could help somebody and hope you're all doing good and um, out there enjoying life, all this smoky weather. I hope all my friends in the States there are being safe and uh, not getting burnt out by the uh, fires. And I mean that. So that uh, spray on uh, stuff, you know, you got something like this. You just get a little paintbrush and... You can get that out of there, but it should dry clear anyways. But that's it, guys. I got to uh, edit this video now. Then I can go chainsaw carving. I want to do the pumpkin with the mohawk. Yep, it's pumpkin time, pumpkin time, pumpkin time.